we have so many <laughs> so many problems going on. I mean, guys, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. We're here. This is here. We're making this happen every Friday night, 7:30 p.m. And I'm excited. I'm so happy because I have a great actor in the house, oh, a man who's you. been around for a long time. Lou Martini Jr. You're right dating here. You're dating me. You're dating me. I'm not. not your, 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 time, your girl. Yeah. She's here. She's beautiful. She's too beautiful. Shout out to Liz, everybody. Shout out to Liz. She's dropped that gorgeous. Got me to the studio on time today. Oh, yeah. Thank you, baby. I don't know how you handle this woman. That's I all I can tell either. you. I don't know either. Okay. But I want to, before we start talking, Lou, yes. Yes. I want to mention, um, I'm very happy, very excited to know, to see that Melissa Leo won the Golden Globe. Absolutely. For, totally deserved, too. Uh, in, in, my favorite movie of the year and my favorite the performance fighter. of the year. Yes, absolutely. she was absolutely fabulous. Since she did Frozen River, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. I went to see her, I knew that she was going to get nominated for mm -hmm. an Oscar. Mm -hmm. And people say, oh, some people say, oh, you know what, this is a very small film, it's an independent film, very small. There's no way she's going to get nominated for an Oscar. Well, what's great is the performance spoke for itself, and what's also great about it is it's actually an adult role that's winning, you know, an adult award. We're not giving another, you know, 23-year-old uh, actress an award for playing a 23-year-old in a movie. I mean, you know, she, she, she's been around a long time. I did, I did a few plays with Melissa many, uh -huh. many, many years ago, and she's just uh -huh. a wonderful actress, and I was very, very happy to see that for yeah. Melissa Leo. Very great happy. Actress, great, woman. great actress, great woman, great performer. Yes. Now, what about Sam Rockwell not getting nominated? Yeah. That, I tell you right now, Mr. Sam Rockwell, you're a hell of an actor. And I love what you did in Conviction. I just couldn't understand why he didn't get nominated yeah, yeah. for Best Supporting Actor. And wait a second, he might get nominated for the Oscar. Might. He might. He might get nominated for the Oscar. And what about Hilary Swank, too? He might. You know what he was even better in is a little movie called Moon. I don't know if anybody's seen it. Moon. Moon is a little independent film where he actually played. I'm not going to give it away because you got to go see it. You want to talk about great performances. Uh -huh. he, played, uh, he played himself and he played himself. And I, I can't say more because I'd give it away, the plot line. But uh -huh. it was amazing for the same guy to play the same guy but make it different. So go figure that out. Oh, man, you make me moon. think now. He's an astronaut on the moon. you got to see it. Okay, I, I would great go. Great performance. I, I, by, by the way, are we recording? <laughs> <laughs> we are yeah, I guess we yeah. are. So I should be happy. I forgot to mention my sponsors. My God, they're going to kill me. Mention. The Mikos, the best Italian specialties. My marks, they broke. I need a couple marks. Guys, you got to send them to me. Josh and Tana, we love you. We miss you. You got to send them to me. What are you? You said you were coming? Well, you're not here. We're missing you. We're loving you. Madonna's Brothers Bakery, Your Health, and Caterina Lancova. I'm wearing Caterina Lancova. This little things on my, on my leg. You see, I can stretch. I can twitch like a pretzel, guys. I can, I can get it done. Okay? So now, Lou, it's about you. So you talk. I'm out of here. <laughs> you want me to go? Yeah, first of all, it's wild to be on television live. This what do you is, think? This is wild. This is great. It's fun, right? I mean, I've been doing this since I'm five, six years old. I don't think I've ever done anything Live. I mean, theater, of course. Do of a course. lot of stage work. And stand-up comedy, too. Stand-up comedy back in the day, yeah. I, I can hear you in the cameras, Ginger and Gloria. I, I can hear you, but that's okay. I can hear you. Go back. Uh, that's you okay. said that little voice in your head. I, it's not time. a voice in my head. Gloria is always there. The and minor, there. my girl, she's on camera. And I can hear my baby girl's voice. Okay. You have a very nice staff and crew. And I know. See Danny. I haven't seen Danny in a long time. I know. He's with he's us. The legend. The he's, legend. He's a nice, nice, nice man. Yeah. Okay, Lou, let's talk about you. You got it. Talk about me. Is Go back. Your first memory, you've been in the business for since you were, what, well, I come six? from, yeah, five or six years old. I come from a... Uh, a showbiz type family. My father was a pretty well-known uh, character actor back in the day, uh, song and dance man. All my uncles and cousins. I had a cousin that was a famous, famous opera singer, Severio Cerritos, uh, very Mario Lanza like back in the day. And uh, interesting story. One of my first jobs is, is I was actually in The Godfather. Yes. And what happened was my father was hired to play Luca Brazzi in the film. Uh huh. And unfortunately, the day he was shooting. And to this day, we still don't know if this footage exists. As a matter of fact, our friend George, who knows somebody at Paramount, has people looking for it. If it exists, it'd be great to have. But my father shot uh, a little bit as Luca Brazzi became ill on the set that day, had a stroke, and passed away soon after that, and was replaced by Lenny Montana in the movie, who did a bang-up job. But when my father worked back in the day, my whole family worked. So if you look at the wedding scene in The Godfather, I see, I see my Aunt Faye, my Aunt Eva, all my aunts and cousins. Everybody. And, I love and then you see me. I was, if you remember the scene, James Kahn 
is taking one of the bridesmaids upstairs to do the little fool around uh -huh, business. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And as he's taking the, uh, the, the, uh, the young lady upstairs, two little boys run by him in the hallway yelling and screaming. They go into the kitchen, run around the wedding that's cake. That's you? The first kid is me. How about oh, that? that's sweet. How about that? So that was one of my first early uh, speaking roles, even though I was speaking like a, you know, yeah. mah, 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 crying like a kid or whatever it was. But you're the only actor who got what? The Godfather and the Sopranos? I'm the only. That's a little movie trivia. Very that's good. You did your homework. I'm you doing my homework. work. I, I read your, your right you up and right here, your you interview in Mob Candy Magazine. Yeah, my what? publicist found that out. I'm the only actor to do principal work on the Godfather and on the uh, Sopranos, which people know me for. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. obviously, obviously. So you've been around for a long time. I've been around for a long time. And I want to be around for a long, long time I, more, hopefully. But I mean, you're a character actor, are you? Yes, absolutely. I would consider myself a character actor. So how you deal with your own instrument, Lou? How you work? It's all about it's all about preparation. You know, I I, I got to make sure I'm prepared. I got to make sure I know the guy that I'm playing inside mm -hmm. and out. You know, mm -hmm. and I think that's what separates the men from the boys. Especially that. See, that's why I love theater. Yes. You know, you make you make me your too. money doing film and television and commercials and things like that. But there's nothing like being on a live stage. There in the moment. Yeah, being in the moment for two hours and the, the instant satisfaction and gratification you get from the audience is nothing like it. But it's, to me, it's all about preparation. About you work. know, you got to be prepared. You got to know the character you're playing inside and out. Right. The that process. separates the men from the boys. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. That's what makes the difference between great actors and good actors and bad actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think so. How beautiful it is to see great acting, man. It's like, no. it's so inspiring. Mm -hmm. What about the film that you got, just got nominated for the Spirit Award? Uh, this is so Can exciting. I just got good news the other day. This is a uh, a film that is very, very close to my heart. I'm so proud to be a part of this film. We did this film a few years back. Uh, it's it's called Pounds. It did really well in New York this summer. We had a, we ran for three weeks. We got extended here in New York. It ran in Boston and D.C. and Minneapolis. Did really, really well in all the art houses. And it's a film we did a few years ago. And the two people behind it, Matt Bonifacio, the director, and uh, Carmine Familietti, who uh, wrote the story along with Matt and produced it. It's basically... Uh, about his journey with his uh, struggle with weight gain and weight loss throughout mm -hmm. the years. It's and a it, beautiful it, it, film. If anybody's man. ever had a, had a problem about weight or, you know, wanting to pick up that sandwich and you know you shouldn't, it's one of those movies that's got such a heart. It's, it's real, it's so truthful, it's so beautiful, so well done. Carmine does a great job. You do a great job. Thank Michael you. Aronoff. Thank you. My God, can we talk about acting? That's Guys, terrific. Michael is a terrific actor. It, just, it, it started from the script. It's a wonderful script. The movie was made with a lot of heart, like I said, a few years ago. And we just got the call uh, right before the holidays that we got nominated for what they call the John Cassavetes Award, which is the best independent, independent film, film made for uh, under $500,000. So hopefully we'll be all out at the Spirit Awards in uh, February. You guys, I mean, we need to there. You have film. to be in that. Now, we have, we have the trailer. We're going to be able to show Can the trailer. Can we show the trailer? Well, when, when Gloria's ready, you see, this is the trick. I brought the trailer along. So you we guys get, can, oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, she's ready. Oh, we are. I love food. I am freaking happy when I'm eating food. I love it. How's my fellow addict doing? Suck on food and jumps at you if it takes. I wasn't the one in the hospital. He's lying to himself. He's lying to your mother and father. And worst of all, he's lying to you. Now you weigh him when he came up from the hospital, right? All you care about is eating. Yeah, you sure you're a piece of garbage. You're a loser with no future. You're a nothing. All you gotta do is worry about yourself, brother. Whatever help you need, man. So, interested in this property? When I said I'd do whatever I can to help you out, this is not what I had in mind. I had to get away from my parents. There's too many luxuries at home. You know what I'm talking about. So what are you going to do? You're going to move out here in the middle of nowhere? I was dying back at home. And you know what? You are too. Dying, rolling, dying. No backing out on me, man. You promised me you'd give me two weeks. Now don't do this to me. You got a good heart. I hope you don't lose it with the weight. Never. Let's not forget that food is a legal addiction. Everywhere I go, I'm constantly reminded of food. Please, some things are tougher to kick than others. Let's just leave it at that. Drugs have to be seeked out. Food is accessible. That's what makes food tougher to kick. No one is ever afraid of the fat guy. The fat guy's never gonna take your girlfriend. That's why it's harder to be fat than it is to be a drug addict. You're comparing yourself to me, comparing your life to me. The worst thing that ever happened to you is your mom cooked too much eating for dinner. That's the worst thing that ever happened. Come on, let's go! Anything? Does he have any plans for ever coming home? Stop you from this 
Monday came. Yeah, right Monday came and I started. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna tell everybody that Monday came and I'm getting it done. How many times? It might be a thousand. You know, a thousand and one, I started. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a great film. I went to see it three times. Same yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, you're a big fan. I'm a right? big fan. I, I love this kind of work. Okay, and I'm, I, Michael is like, he's one of my boys. What's great about he's it is not only is it's funny, you laugh, it's so funny, it's so it's entertaining. It's funny, well written. But it's such an important movie. Yes, it you is. Know, especially with what's going on with childhood and, and, and uh, you know, adult obesity also in this country today. It's one of those things that people really don't uh, deal with. It's, when they talk addictions, they talk uh, drug addictions, sex addictions. Nobody talks about food addictions. Right. And that's a big problem in this country. You know? Yeah, it's big a problem. very current movie. So I'm proud of it, and hopefully we'll do well at the Spirit Awards. Well, I, I think you guys are going to win. Next month. Yeah, it'll be out on DVD next month, so look Yes. Good. No, it's going to be the 25th of January, I thought, or until February. Oh, you know more than me, then. Oh, but you see it? Now I'm your agent. Come on, You look. know more than me. I know, know the know Spirit Awards is February 25th. So right. the DVD's the coming DVD's out before that? The DVD's coming out the 25th. Look at That's that. That's what Michael said. That's Beautiful. what he said Beautiful. when we spoke. I guess. I, I guess. So it's a terrific film. Just good luck with it. I, Thank you. I, in my opinion, you should win. Thank you. We hope so. We hope so. But just like I said, just being nominated, just it's just, great, just yeah, having right. people be aware of the film, yes. and because of the hard work that everybody put in. I mean, this movie was ten years in the making, from yeah. the first day of the table read to when it got released. Right. You know, it's, it's been incredible. a long time. So, and that's because of Carmine and Matt's and everybody involves persistence. Yeah, of course, but that's the only way to do things. Yeah. Is to yeah. keep doing it. Keep hearing the guys on camera, so you still have to concentrate. Yeah. So yeah. we, it's you and me, Lou. Yep. It's about you. So pretty much in terms of film, what are you working on now? What's, what's happening? What do you want to promote? What, let's talk about uh, I've been busy, films. which is good. Two You're always busy, 2010 man. was a good year. I did, uh, I did, uh, I did a lot of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say crazy stuff, but some kind of dark stuff. I'm looking at, if anybody's doing a romantic comedy, please, I'm dying to do a romantic comedy because I did like four movies in a row. I did a, a wonderful film. I played a serial killer in Pittsburgh this summer. Okay. So look for that. It's called uh, Under the Rainbow. Under the Rainbow. That was kind of creepy. Okay. Uh, and then I also did a film right after. I did these back to back. I did that one. And then I did a film called Billy's Cult in Philadelphia with Debbie Rashan, who's one of the great horror actresses out there today, and Susie Lorraine. Uh, and this is also a serial killer movie, but uh, can't tell too much about the story. That'll be out in the uh, in the summer on DVD. Okay. So I did I did a couple of dark things in a row. So you want to do a comedy? I want to do comedy. yes. I want to lighten it up a little bit. Lighten it up a little bit. As a matter of fact, the reason I have this though uh -huh. is Monday I have to go on tape for a uh, a biker movie. So okay. I think let me put the handlebar on. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're doing a movie in New Orleans called uh, Tarantula. Okay. That uh, I'm up for so. You're looking good. I'm cross your fingers. You I'm see, I, I like the way. Week. Look at that shot. It's yeah, a beautiful bad, huh? shot. The colors. You and me here. Yeah. We're missing your girl. She yeah. can. She can jump in if she wants to. And then if I don't get that movie, I can go up for the Wyatt Earp story. I heard they're doing that. This will be are they? perfect for it. Yeah. Yes, right? you are. But Doc Holiday. What? What about? <laughs> A romantic comedy. <laughs> yeah, I want to do romantic comedy, yeah. Directors you would like to work with, Lou. People that you, because it's about the work, it's about the script. Yeah, well, we were just talking about, you know, the award season going on. And I tell you, Christian Bale, Terrific uh, what I would, I'd give my right arm to do a movie with Christian Bale. It'll happen, it'll happen one day. I just, I respect his work so much. Yeah. I mean, if you guys, like I so said, we talked about the fighter, Melissa Leo, and... Also, Christian Bale in that movie is amazing. He's amazing. To see an, Barbara, to see an, to he's see got an the English actor. The yes, yes. He looks like a fighter. Yeah. And, you know, he, Christian Bale said some really nice things on the award show the other night about it's, it's so hard to, um, to play the role that Wahlberg played because he's really the quiet guy in the movie. And Christian Bale does all the, all the yelling and the screaming and stuff. And that's, that's, that's what usually gets you noticed in the eyes of critics is the loud, obnoxious behavior in films. Right. And it's really hard for